Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. Some of you, you're, the truth is, is that you're experiencing some type of stagnant energy here. Because a person that's around you has this unstable like energy. Again, something here is trying to get off the ground page of source. This could be someone starting something new. It could be a new relationship, someone starting a new job, a business, or whatever the case is. But it's something here. It's hectic. It's a lot. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Somebody here could be very stressed out right now about money. Somebody could be holding back some type of truth about what happened in a previous relationship that they were in. Or someone is, has just not fully healed from something. It feels like somebody here is truly like going through heartbreak, pain. They're juggling. They're trying to figure. Somebody is just trying to figure life out. Okay, and this energy is either your energy or is someone around you. Yeah, nine of swords. It's a conflicting energy here. Someone around you has stress, fear, and anxiety. And I feel like, especially if you're the feminine energy, you're trying to be optimistic, passionate, happy, and move on to, to wish fulfillment. It's like you have this passion and this confidence, but you are there's a person that's around you or projecting an energy onto you because they are actually very worried about their own stability, security, or what they're starting new in their life. You're needing to have some boundaries here with someone. Yeah, because the four of pentacles is here. Four of pentacles, three of pentacles. And then the five of cups. Knight of Cups, Four of Wands. Oh my goodness. Magician. This energy to me is very conflicting because th this is a situation where there's potential, but there is... I don't know if this is spell work causing this. This could be chaos and conflict for some of you that's coming from a spiritual attack because... If, if it was a mess, I would, I would just tell you. It seems messy, but there's also potential in this situation. The four of pentacles is here with the three of pentacles and the two. So we have the two, three, four. Two of pentacles, three of pentacles, four of pentacles. Some of you right now, you need to be careful in how you are giving or receiving money. The pentacles also is needing to be very grounded also and not allowing um certain exchanges to throw you off balance because you need to be able to see something very clearly here something needs to be seen as black and white that may be difficult because of the fact that there is some type of connection that you have to someone but you're being advised right now to really focus on doing what you love for yourself Because something here isn't going to turn out the way that you wanted it to. Or whoever you are working with or whoever is in your space, something in their life is not going to turn out the way that they had hoped. See, this page of wands, five of cups, someone is very like enthusiastic and optimistic about something. It's not going to turn out the way that they had hoped it would. Now, it, I feel like something here could end up being better than what they had anticipated it being. You're just going to have to surrender here. There's a lot happening in this energy. I don't know what this is. That's why I feel we did just have a new moon. Um, Venus is going in retrograde tomorrow. Turbulence in relationships is it's already showing up. Could be a friend, family member, business partner, 
lover, potential lover, trouble is going to hit what somebody thought was going to be paradise. But you have the Knight of Cups here with the Four of Wands and then the Wise Council and the Magician. See, you're manifesting. For some of you, you're manifesting a life partner. Okay? But see, it's falling here underneath the Five of Wands. The five of wands is there being conflict and chaos, drama, ego clashes, pride and ego. But what's interesting is here you have the king of swords and you have the king of pentacles. For some of you, you have two different masculines in your energy and you're needing to rest and retreat. You need to drop all these burdens and baggage down at the door because... It's, it's causing your intuition to have to go into overdrive about a situation that's being convoluted, I feel, with a lot of chaos, conflict, and illusions. What's here, though, is the king and the queen of cups along with the sun. There is indeed a connection here, but look, the eight of swords, ten of swords. You're in some kind of, this is mental conflict. This is chaos magic here. I, I know because... There's too many underlying thoughts, feelings, and emotions here. Yeah, this energy just came rushing in. Eight of eight of Wands, the Queen of Swords here, the Knight of Swords, and then the Moon. For some of you, there's just been something is altering your mood as a collective. There's something that's altering your mood. It's altering your thoughts. And I think just a few days ago, I said that some of you need to be careful because there are going to be people who have a hidden agenda to really make you um, feel like good things are not being manifested in your life. This is a trick of the enemy, though, so that you will fall into some type of slump of self-sabotage because all it is here is the eight of swords, ten of swords. It seems like you could have someone on the outside looking into your life. This could definitely be for some of you a past lover. They're trying to make you think that a situation is much worse than what it actually is. So you could have a situation that's happening right now in your life, you know, with a friend, family member, lover, with your job. And maybe it is calling, causing a bit of instability here. But someone is trying to amplify the amount of chaos or conflict in your life to make you feel like it's your fault or something, like I said, it's much worse than what it is. But, excuse me, I'm so sorry. That's not actually true. Because the ma magician is here with the wise counsel and the four of wands with the knight of cups. The knight of cups will actually be the same as this king of cups that's going towards the queen of cups with the sun. You guys have a beautiful offer that's coming into your life or you have someone currently in your life that you have the king of pentacles here and the king of swords so for some of you there's three different masculines here for one for some of you there's two let me explain some of you you have someone from your past and you could be dealing with someone currently neither one of them are the the one that you will perhaps th that will be like your life partner or your business partner, there's somebody else coming in. Some of you, you have a person from your past and you're dealing with someone right now. The person that you could be dealing with currently, there's turbulence. Just because of the collective energy, but also because of someone from your past sending this energy towards you. I would say right now for some of you, because as a collective, Venus is going into retrograde and I've been talking about this and in 30 days, I think the 23rd of August, Mercury is going to go into retrograde. This is communication and love. Be very careful right now in how you communicate. Be very careful right now in how you react and you respond. You're going to have triggers to come up right now that are going to remind you a lot of your past. You're also being triggered by people from your past or a certain type of energy from your past. 
as you move forward, you need to be very, very mindful not to go into new situations the same way that you went into old situations. A lot of these energies are going to feel very familiar to you, but I get a sense that they're not. There's an energy out here of trickery that wants you to think that, and I, I can see the plot here of someone. Somebody wants you to think that something in your life right now that is good, whether it be, like I said, job opportunity, an opportunity for you to relocate, get a new home, go into a new relationship. Somebody wants you to think this is just too much. This is just such a burden. You know, um, you can do better than this. But what, what some, if this is a person that's sending this, in, they want you to think that by doing better, that means that you will go to them, which means that you will actually backtrack. It's a plot. Somebody is using this retrograde energy already to try and summon you back to the past. It's a very strong pull here, and I can see it very, very clearly. It's a lot of illusions here. It's a lot of chaos and conflict, but I promise you, I can see straight through it. The magician is here with the wise counsel of the four ones. Somebody knows that you're manifesting a really great opportunity. This is either an opportunity to bring you, like I said, stability with your finances or for some of you, a significant relationship, maybe even both. Somebody is sitting here um, and they're like waiting. It could be this King of Pentacles that's doing this or this King of Swords. Or for some of you, this King of Pentacles, King of Swords person is the same person. And this Knight of Cups, someone that's offering their love is coming towards you. Thank you, Spirit. Because I was saying for some of you, it's two people. For some of you, it's three. You have a shape-shifting masculine here. This person is either, they, they're like the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. This person is highly, highly intuitive. They're very intelligent. I feel like this person has the gift of gab. They do not lead with emotions. This person is very um, concerned about money, about status. They're very grounded. This person is not moved by emotions, but they can be very cunning and emotionally manipulative. This is like a wise serpent type energy. And this person, whoever this King of Pentacles, King of Swords is, this shape-shifting masculine, they're fully aware of the fact that you are manifesting this Knight of Cups. Some of you haven't met this Knight of Cups yet, or you're dealing with this Knight of Cups. And as I said before, this is something that you manifested, and it could lead to marriage, stability, like wish fulfillment. Whoever this King of Swords, King of Pentacles person is, or whoever these people are, if it's more than one, they're in the background really trying to cause conflict. The five of wands is here because what it is, is they recognize that you're becoming excited and optimistic about manifesting this happiness. And what is the happiness? The sun, the king of cups, queen of cups. This knight of cups is coming in and they're going to become the king of cups to this queen of cups. Whoever this king of pentacles, king of swords is, they know that. So what they're doing now is they're trying to put a cage around your mind. So that you will feel like you're being betrayed, you will be devastated, you'll be in, like I said, just this mental imprisonment. It's, a, it's an illusion that you're trapped. This is so that you won't have the confidence to be hopeful. You will lose hope and you will, you will fall into this victim mentality of feeling very helpless. And therefore, you won't actually take action to do what is necessary for you to have the stability or the partnership, the friendship, or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Some of you, it's even just your connection with God, with the Most High. Somebody wants you to feel like all the things that bring you joy, peace, happiness, um, optimism, that you're foolish for believing it. It's somebody trying to weigh you down. Ten of Wands here. 
So what you need to do is you need to ground yourself because the high priestess is here with the eight of pentacles. Some of you, you could be a high priestess. You may even work in doing some type of spiritual work. If not, you need to cleanse, clear, or whatever you may have to do at this time. But with the high priestess being out here in the four of swords, you're needing to really connect with your higher self right now. Meditation, a detox, something, because maybe you need to take a break. Somebody is trying to cause you to be mentally exhausted. With all of these mind control games and spells and illusions, this is chaos magic and a lot of illusion magic being sent to you by a shapeshifter. Someone who does not want you to move forward. If somebody is doing like a, a love spell or something like that where they're trying very hard. I keep hearing the word summon. They're trying to summon you back because they know that you're on a path right now to get far, far away from a situation. This person is, is sending you some type of energy to make you feel like you need to allow them in your energetic field or in, in your life. Yeah, nine of cups. Your wishes are coming true, though. Yeah. You have here renewal, the will, the two of cups, and the ten of pentacles. And behind it is the seven of swords. See, somebody here is scheming and they're plotting on this new life that you're manifesting. Judgment is here with renewal. See, a lot of you, you're trying to forgive and release something from the past. With the um, judgment card here, this is when you look at the past and... You know, you may have forgiveness in your heart and compassion for it, but that still doesn't change the fact that you're choosing to move in a different direction. Somebody knows that even though they're trying to summon you back and get you to go backwards so that they can get back into your energy, the will is here. And what the will is bringing you is a two of cups and the ten of pentacles. The will, your, your true counterpart. Your divine blessings, this cosmic gift from the Most High, it's being presented to you in the form of a lot of abundance and for many of you, a, a partnership. And, and for some of you, there is a child that is destined to be born as well because in this card, there's a child here and then we saw the King and Queen of Cups with the Sun. Okay? And look here, you see the Renewal card, it has a family here. So for some of you, yeah, in this, in this card... You see a, a woman in this car, she's she's pregnant with a child. This nine of cups too. Somebody here is playing a lot of games in your, your energetic field with your emotions. I'm hearing Jamie Foxx's song, Overdose. Somebody overdoses on your energy. They're, and they're losing it. The fact that, that, like, they can't access your energy the same way. They're spiraling out of control. So this person, Seven of Swords, is in the background doing work on any type of connections that you may have now. And they see that you're being very strong. See, this person feels like, again, here you have the King of Pentacles, King of Swords, this shapeshifter. They feel like... You have the type of strength and courage that is better suited for them and not this King of Cups person because they want you to come in most likely and help them with the Ten of Pentacles. This person is all about money. They feel like you're the you're the best fit for them to have financial security, abundance, a certain type of inheritance, knowledge. They see you as the perfect person to have a child with. All of that. Like, that's what they would like to have with you. For some of you, there, there's a new person coming into your life that sh shares the same thoughts. But the, the difference in these people is their intentions. Because, see, somebody here has finally reached the, the truth of understanding that they missed an opportunity to have this with you. Yeah, because, see, you've gone into hermit mode. You're off You're off the grid. You're You're... Focusing on peace in your own life. And that's bringing in a, a passionate new beginning. Ace of Wands. Look, the Six of Swords. But you have to move away from this conflict and this chaos and confusion with the Seven of Cups here. Somebody wants you to be in a low vibrational karmic-like energy. And they're watching you and they're realizing that like you really, you're, you're glowing, you're growing, you're evolving. 
But here also is the Queen of Wands, the Hangman, the Page of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Emperor. Some of you right now, you're you're in this Queen of Wands energy. You're going through an awakening or this Knight of Cups person that's coming towards you. They have their eye on you. They're going through an awakening. Both of you are going through an awakening because I do feel like this is a connection that is meant to come in for you. Yeah, this person, the Knight of Cups person that's watching you right now, they're, they're the emperor. You and this person both, though, are going through... An awakening you and this person are experiencing this delay energy because of this karmic energy that's in the background trying to block your connection this shape-shifting karmic masculine or feminine for some of you yeah the two of wands is here you're dreaming about going in a new direction constantly and you know that it's going to be very victorious and successful with the six of wands but this three of swords keeps showing up the three of swords is the interference from this person that you've released. They're trying to block your ace of pentacles. Wow. Yeah, you have to stand your ground with this person. And this feels more like an energetic battle. Yeah. You have to stand your ground with the nine of wands here. You have to really protect everything that you've already created. Okay. Know exactly what you truly believe in. Because somebody is trying to have you... Um, Think about a lot of negative things so that they will become your reality. This is someone who knows in the past that they made an unwise choice by choosing to go in a different direction. Now that they see you experiencing your glory day, they want to come in and I keep saying like ride the, ride the wave with you. But that's not what's happening. You're receiving justice, peace, balance, and harmony. In your love life, for sure. You're moving on to peaceful, calmer waters. Your ships are truly coming in. And it's wish fulfillment. The start is here. You work very hard for this. So, like I said, for a lot of you, it's so clear. You, you definitely could be going through some type of spiritual or psychic attack. And it's from an ex-lover. That's a shapeshifter. This person is constantly getting in and out of your energy. And they're causing your intuition to have to work very hard because some of you that Knight of Cups person, that person is in your life or they're in your energy some type of way. And it seems like right when you start to open your heart up, this shape-shifting person, they get in your energy and they really try hard to make you feel like you don't need to give anyone a chance in love. You don't need to move forward and be happy. Um, you don't need to relocate. You don't need to start that job. You, somebody just does not want you to open yourself up to what the world has to offer. They don't want you to experience any more accomplishments or have happiness or joy in your life. Yeah, but that's what's coming, the Three of Cups. This person is very miserable. And they're definitely using this retrograde energy to bring chaos to your love life. And they're hoping that, because I see their plan very clearly. This person is like, oh, well, yeah, um, Venus is in retrograde. So let me just make you have a bunch of fallouts with, you know, your friends, your family, and any type of potential mates. And then by the time Mercury retrograde comes around, they're going to send you so much energy that you may just break down and call them. Or when they call you, you may actually be open to talking to them. So if you guys are experiencing right now, you know, you're listening to music and you're suddenly thinking about this past person or, you know, just whatever. Be very careful because somebody is really trying to summon you back so that they can attach to you energetically because they really just want to get back in your energy. So, again, be mindful that your friends and your family that are in your life right now who have already passed your test with you being very discerning. Those people are not really a problem. It's this person in the background that's trying to make you think that all of these people around you is a problem or that they're coming to you with problems and baggage and is issues, obstacles. This is this person's way of trying to trick you into isolating yourself from people who actually care about you because of five of wands. They're sending you chaos and conflict magic. Somebody is possibly sending this like to your home, your vehicle. So whenever a person is at your house or in your car 
or whenever you go out in your community, you, you will notice, you know, like just anything to kind of throw your day or your mood off. You know, if you go and you order food, it's, all of a sudden everything is always wrong. You go to pick up your, pick something up, it's not on time. Or, you know, having fender bender, it's like whatever. It's just this person is sending you anything that will cause you to have tension, obstacles. And this is going to put you in this up, like have you in this up in arms type of energy instead of you being in your divine feminine energy where you're actually open and you're eager to receive. This person wants you up in arms. They want, somebody wants you in, like in this hardcore survival mode because you finally mastered peace for some of you or you're trying very hard to do that so that those things that bring you that peace and serenity come into your life, they just want you to be upset. Queen of Cups. Some of you are, are really trying to think a lot about romance, about love. You know, you're creative, you're a visionary. Somebody is like, no, they, they want this to come to an end. The hangman. They want you to experience delays because you're moving on a peaceful, calm of waters, dropping all of your baggage. The queen of cups is going towards the king of cups. And here this is. Somebody is watching you, spying on the fact that you have happiness. Y'all, isn't this crazy in this deck? We have the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Now, in that re in the cards I just had out, didn't I tell you that this King of Swords, King of Pentacles is one person? They're shape-shifting, and this person is all about money. This person wants you to share your money with them, a Six of Pentacles. And look at this, Two of Pentacles. They're they want you to juggle because you've walked away, and you're manifesting the Ten of Cups. See, the chariot is here with the star on behind it. You've put, you've put your your guard up to this person, but see, they want you to put your guard up to this Knight of Cups that you should actually be taking a leap of faith with. That this Knight of Cups is this King of Cups. This King of Swords, King of Pentacles person, who's, this person was always all about money. Six of Pentacles, it was never a reciprocal relationship with this person. They did not want to offer you much of anything. So you're releasing this situation or you've released it because this person couldn't make a decision. They were too busy just juggling. Now that you don't want to experience delays of waiting on this person, they're trying to spiritually and energetically attack you and block you because they see that you walked away. And so they're, they're trying to manifest you. And in the more severe cases, they're doing magic on you. Somebody is definitely doing like love spells on you because they can see that your guard is up. But because this person is a shapeshifter and they're doing all of this in the dark, what is going to happen is that you're going to take this queen of swords energy. You're going to become harsh, rude, mean, nasty, and abrasive possibly to this king of cups. This person wants you to... Um, they want you to really lose your cool. They want you to sabotage a relationship that's good for you, that you're going towards or that's coming towards you that, because they're watching you. Someone is monitoring you and they know that most likely you've manifested a divine masculine that's going to make you very happy. They know this. So their eye is on who? The King of Cups. The King of Cups is going to be the counterpart to the Queen of Cups. And you and this person are going to get on this chariot and go right towards healing, happiness, wish fulfillment. So this shapeshifter distorted karmic ex is still in the background. This person is very upset that you're, you've walked away and you're going on a journey towards the, the true Ten of Cups. Yeah, three of pentacles, three of wands. What's coming in for you is partnership. There's a life partner coming in for you. And there's going to be a lot of growth and expansion. So what this person is doing right now is they're creating a spiritual and energetic roadblock. That's why the two of swords and four of cups is here. They want you to all of a sudden, like I said, just feel like you just can't go on anymore. You're indecisive. You're at a crossroads. You're torn between two different people. 
But spirit is saying, no, the truth is, is that everything is being balanced out for you. And what's quickly coming with the Knight of Swords here is the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> for who? The Divine Feminine. So don't allow this um, projection of heartache, pain, despair, grief, or anything else to stop you or slow you down. You're, you're very much happy, victorious, and successful. This is a trick, Seven of Swords. This is a spiritual attack. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, Five of Swords, Two of Cups, Five of Cups here. <laughs> Three of Cups. Somebody is competing with whoever is coming into your life because they want you to come back. Yeah. Someone who betrayed you. They want you to come back to them. And so they're trying to spiritually bully you and this person is for sure sending you chaos and conflict, but it's like a, it's, it's, it's a layered spell. They're sending conflict and chaos to all of your friendships, your family, your relationships, your home, your vehicle, and all of that to get you to bend. They want you to bend and, and maybe eventually just break. And what they're also doing is they're doing love manifestation, come to me spells or whatever, because they feel like if they can break your confidence down enough like I said, then you will come back to them because this person is summoning you in the spirit to come back to them. This person just, um, I keep hearing that um, song Overdose. Hold on. Let me um, find the lyrics of this song. It's 111, 111, which is all about manifestation. That song is called Overdose. This person could be overdosing on something themselves. Um, but I feel like this person, they they just overdose on your energy. This person is, somebody here is completely lovesick. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's not, it's not for the right reasons. It says, the lyrics say, they said I had it bad, addicted to what we had, heartbreaks, no fading fast. Vitals low might not last. See, this person, you're like their life force energy. Stripped down while sirens ring, holding on, trying to breathe. Not like this. I can't leave. Look what you've done to me. I've overdosed, overdosed on you. They said I've overdosed, overdosed on you because I want you close. I need you the most. Without you, I'm just through. So I'm overdosed, overdosed on you. Rushing me, switching lanes, IVs going through my veins, blood tests say no cocaine. They don't know, but you're the you're the blame. So this part you're like this person's drug. You're like this person's drug. Like they I'm assuming that some something has changed with this person. They can't access your energy the same way. Whenever you kick this person out of your energy, they summon you back with sending you chaos, conflict. And these like love spells, you need to stay very grounded because you don't need to allow this parasitic person to attach themselves to you. So when you find yourself becoming very uneasy, you need to know, it, especially if you've dealt with someone in your past and you're trying to get out of that situation, that's not your energy. That's a part of being able to decipher and discern your energy from someone else's. It, you know, sometimes you'll just wake up, you, you feel like, oh, you just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. This is somebody that's sending this energy to you. So you need to make sure that you're cleansing and clearing this energy and canceling it out. Because somebody is actively trying to manifest you to come, to let them back into your energy. And this person is, like, they're strung out on your energy it says because i know that you will kill me because i'm sweating tweaking fiending never been so hurt but damn i love this feeling because i'm aching breaking shaking i'm gonna make it through the night and now my body is cold i'm losing because i was abusing it oh no nobody can help i did it to myself and that's why i'll do it again and again i've overdosed on you Somebody has it so bad. And you know what? The reason why I just kind of giggled a little bit is because 
I don't know what the Divine Feminine Collective is doing, but it's like you have a person from your past that is going crazy trying to get back into your energy or they're doing everything in hopes to stay in your energy. But let me tell you, whoever this new person is that's in your life or coming into your uh, coming into your life, this person is going to be madly in love with you too. It's like every person is just like madly in love with you right now. <laughs> That's why I'm just kind of giggling because I'm seeing this shapeshifter like distorted masculine, but I'm also seeing like I, I in my in my head like I can see this other masculine, and they're like they love you. Oh my god! Look at this J divine feminine card when I split the deck. Divine feminine. <laughs> divine feminine. You could be an air sign. Don't have to be, but Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is here. Um, or the person that, cause we saw the King of Pentacles, King of Swords, it could be anybody really, but someone who probably is usually a very logical thinker, they're so, they're, they're going crazy because like they're in love with you. I feel like I'm picking up two different masculines. I'm picking up a masculine that's just kind of narcissistic. They don't want to let you go, but I'm also picking up, you got, there's a masculine in your energy that maybe is very um controlled usually because if you think about it, even the king of cups the king of cups they're full of love but they're very emotionally balanced and controlled the king of cups usually doesn't show their feelings when i think king of cups i think of scorpio energy because they're very mysterious somebody for some of you they're hiding the fact oh my gosh like this really is starting to really trip me out <laughs> It's tripping me out because it's like a battle of two different masculines for a divine feminine. There's one that's doing magic trying to keep you. Then there's one that's like heavily manifesting you. They're both manifesting you, but I don't know. This is so funny. I feel like I feel like some of you, this has you kind of like going crazy. You're like, what in the world is happening right now? Because you have so <laughs> you have someone that's like, I love you. And then the other person is like, well, I miss you. Oh my goodness, Divine Feminine, this is so funny. It look, bad influences and telepathy. <laughs> Didn't I tell you, I said somebody is sending you songs and everything. I literally was, I was channeling this song, Overdose. Somebody right now is like drinking. There's no telling what they're doing. And I feel like this person is some kind of, is in like an altered state. And they're trying to telepathically communicate with you to let you know that they miss you. But this person's, um telepathic messages if you're not careful they will lead you into self-sabotage because <laughs> this person wants you to feel so sorry for them i feel like they did you wrong and now you have someone who really loves you that's manifesting you and they want to bring you all types of material gifts but they're possibly holding back oh my goodness this is so much this is a lot like <laughs> Cause you have a masculine out here who I feel you you could be dealing with this person or recently met them like they already have very deep feelings for you but they're holding back this person could be introverted they could be a little bit shy they're holding back but they just love you so much you're their wish fulfillment in this situation it is going to move quickly but someone from your past is watching you Someone from your past is literally stalking you and this person is ruled by ego. Somebody is like, no, you are not getting away from me. How dare you think that like you're going to go and be with somebody else? But this new lover is making plans. <laughs> the new lover is like making plans for you to be everything to, oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> it's a divine feminine out here. Like someone is choosing you. I don't know how long you've known this person. I feel like it's something fairly um, new or you and this person, your relationship, maybe it's taking off very slowly. I don't know what the situation is. I do feel a lot of you have met this person. If you haven't, you will meet them soon. But you have a person out here, like the life partner that you're trying to manifest, either they're in your life or they're coming. This person is going to fall madly in love with you very quickly. They're going to be very, very attracted to you, but they're going to hold back. They're not going to tell you that right away. Someone has a lot of money coming in too. 
whoever i feel like whoever this new person is they're gonna be very affectionate this person remember before we saw the queen of wands king of wands and the awakening card was in between it this person is going through like some type of spiritual awakening as well they're going within trying to work on their own inner child issues so this person may not be trying to rush you into a, a connection but I feel like it's very innocent. Like, this is a person that's going to open doors for you. It's the, the cute forehead kisses. They're not trying to force you into a relationship really fast. And look at that. Water. Water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm telling you, king, that King of Cups energy. And they don't have to be a water sign. But look at this. Proposal. And it says flow. <laughs> Surrender. Just go with the go with the flow and then look look boundaries and earth what i tell you the king of pentacles king of swords energy you have to have boundaries with this king of pentacles person that's trying to summon you back you have this king of cups energy and this king of cups you guys they could actually be any sign but they carry the energy of the this is like your uh, i'm hearing lover boy but they don't show this. They don't show that. I feel like this person. I'm. Oh my gosh. Now I'm hearing Drake. Um. Like this person. This person. Spirit is telling me specifically. This person. For some of you, they really may not be a water sign. Okay. But they have water somewhere highly aspected in their chart. They could have water as like a moon sign, or it could even be like their rising sign. And I'm. I'm getting Scorpio. This person may have like a score like. Scorpio rising or Scorpio um they may have you know what they may have Scorpio in Venus it's something like that like they're Mars Venus or rising maybe moon I'm not getting moon though it may be water this person may actually be either they have air or fire in their chart I'm I feel like this person for some of you yeah, I, I don't think that that, for some of you, they're not a water sign. But again, energy is fluid. We all have different signs and, and elements in our chart. But for sure, this person from your past, this King of Pentacles person, that's like all about money, security, stability. They feel like they pretty much own you. You're going to have to speak up and stop this person from getting in your energy because this person is very much ruled by ego. And they're projecting this energy onto you. And if you're not careful, you will treat someone in your life that is very loving, caring, kind, and passionate about you and your connection as if they are the person that you need to be um, putting up boundaries with. That's what this person in the past wants you to do, though. They're trying to make you confused so that you will sabotage something that's good for you. This person is under the influence. So like, and the influ This person is addicted to you. At the bottom of the deck, y'all, is marriage forever commitment. This whoever this new person is, they don't play about you. <laughs> or they're not going to. This person is like, listen, I found my divine feminine. And I'm this person does not care. It's a lot of cards of marriage out here. Proposal and marriage. Somebody is here that is going to marry you. This person is like, listen, I love you. You're my wish fulfillment. I'm gonna marry you. My money is your money. I just want you to be happy. This person is sitting around watching you. <laughs> trying to figure out what kind of gifts they can bring to you. Okay. They want you to heal your inner child. They're trying to heal their inner child. They want This person wants you to perhaps like... This is not everyone's message. But for some of you, this new person, they know that the two of you are working on your inner child wounds at this time. This person would not be mad. If you were, to, if there were to be like a, something here is a surprise, unexpected happiness. And if you notice, this is just real interesting to me. This little girl has on a striped shirt and this lady has on a striped shirt. This person, they want a mini you. This new person. They're like, yes, that's my wife. That's the mother of my of my, my child or my children. 
they're not telling you this right now. They're holding it back. But trust me, somebody is manifesting. <laughs> Someone is manifesting a whole family with you. And somebody is in the background like, oh, no. Somebody is in the background literally like sending chaos and conflict to you and your new relationship. Wow, that is so crazy. Like, I knew, I was like, what? I knew what I was feeling, what I was picking up. Look, it says here at the bottom, release, move on, release, move on. Anyone that is unawakened and being ruled by their ego, you need to put boundaries up and just move on. Your angels are really trying to assist you at this time. My goodness, that is so crazy to me. <laughs> because both energies are so pressed about this divine feminine my goodness they are both like fighting over this this woman and i am picking up a woman it could be different of course but this divine feminine like there's two people going to war about you <laughs> in the spirit <laughs> it's cute full moon and taurus detoxify i'm telling you it's the earth sign out here and then you could be dealing, like I said, whoever the King of Cups energy is, this person could be a fire sign. They could have Aries heavily aspected in their chart. This is a real, they're an emperor. They're a divine masculine. And it's saying you need to work through your feelings. Oh my gosh, this makes so much sense. Your true masculine is here or they're coming. You're going to have to work through your feelings when it comes to this person. They could be, they could have fire and water in their chart. You have a... For some of you, a Taurus, a Capricorn in your energy, though, you need to detox from this person. Or this person, they're having a hard time <laughs> letting you go. They need to detox. Yeah. Right now, focus on your priorities. My goodness. This card is still here. Full Moon and Taurus detoxify. Let's see. When is the next Full Moon and Taurus? I think that the next Full Moon and Taurus is going to be in the fall. Maybe in like October or something. But remember, um, Venus goes retrograde tomorrow. Mercury is going retrograde August 23rd. Okay. This Taurus full moon. I, there's a Taurus full moon coming up. So. Um, there's an Aries full moon in September. September 29th. Ah. October 28th. Taurus full moon. Y'all, these next three months, I don't know what divine divine feminine you have two different masculines there. I feel like they're gonna be fighting for the next. And somebody here does manifestation work in moon magic. One of these masculines, this shapeshifter, they're like a warlock and they definitely use um moon energy. So, October 28th, there's a partial lunar eclipse, Taurus full moon. And earlier this year, wasn't there a full moon in, um, was there a full moon in Taurus earlier this year? Maybe it wasn't a, no, but earlier this year, there was a Scorpio full moon on May 5th, there was a partial lunar eclipse. We have another partial lunar eclipse that's going to be at the end of October, which is going to be the Taurus full moon. Taurus and Scorpio are opposites. And then I tell you guys, oh my goodness, that makes perfect sense, right? I just said this King of Cups, this person has heavy Scorpio in their chart. But this, that King of Pentacles, King of Swords person... Both of these people could have Scorpio in their chart. Both of these masculines have Scorpio in their chart. Heavy. Wow. But somebody here, you it feels like a, a divine feminine has been working to eclipse somebody out of your energy. This person, they keep getting back into your energy somehow because they keep doing love work on you. This person knows, though, that it's just a matter of time before they're kicked out of your energy for good. And I feel like that's coming up this fall. 
so we're about to go into August soon. September, October. Yeah, this person knows that something is happening astrologically, energetically, where like, yeah, they're going to be eclipsed out of your energy for good. You guys, yeah, yeah okay. I, I see. I see what's happening here. Ooh, two cars in Taurus here, y'all. Be proud of yourself. Last quarter moon in Taurus and full moon in Taurus. Some of you could have Taurus in your chart as well. Um, You definitely could have... Somebody here has... Venus and Taurus, something like that. Something, something about your something or someone in your love life is very stubborn, or there's an energy that has been very stubborn and unwilling to let go of you. You could be a Taurus. It could be a Taurus holding on to you. You could have Taurus heavily aspected in your chart. Maybe like in your in Venus. I don't know what this what is this. You need to focus on your priorities though. Expe look, expect powerful change. New moon in Gemini. Communication is key. What did I tell you? See, Mercury retrograde is coming up next month, and your commitment is being tested. Didn't I just tell you this person is trying to get back into your energy? They're trying to summon you back to the past, to an old timeline. But right now, you're being advised to show the world the real you, full moon and Aquarius. Work through your fears. Why? Because there's a new romantic cycle that's beginning. Libra season. So, Libra season would be in October. The Libra new moon is October 14th. That partial lunar eclipse with the Taurus full moon is October 28th. October 28th, that's, that'll be in Scorpio season. Something is going to be real hot and heavy <laughs> by the time October comes. I don't know if somebody is like planning some kind of spell work or ritual or something already. Whoever this person is, honey, I, this is like some kind of warlock. They're getting started early on a ritual on you. And they're trying to summon you back. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. Like, somebody is like, no, you're not getting away. But you have a new contract. You have a new divine counterpart. This person's like, no. I mean, they are really fighting this. My goodness. I don't feel like they have your best interest at heart, to be honest with you. That's not everyone's case. The tower card, whoever this person is, it keeps trying to summon you back. I feel like they are actually, remember before the first card that came out was the two of swords for their feminine. This person is currently in a two of, they're in a loveless, unhappy connection with someone else. And they could be experiencing a tower. So they're trying to summon you back because they're like well if i get out of this stalemate situation with someone else maybe you'll come back but i don't actually think that they will leave that other person no you already met your person the two of wands with the temperance card here oh my god with the four of wands you're either you met your person or you're about to my goodness yeah this is what's coming in and whoever this masculine is, they're sending you this chaos and conflict because there's trouble in what they thought was paradise. This person is fussing, fighting, arguing with somebody about kids, possibly going through like a divorce or a legal situation. And they're constantly watching you and they're like, wow, you're just moving on a peaceful, calm waters. Somebody here definitely could be going through a divorce. And the person that they're with is also watching and spying on you. Y'all just have a person out here that's like married or in a connection with somebody. They do not want to let you go. They are obsessed with you. The person that they're in an unhappy relationship with is also obsessed with you. And the, here in the meantime, in between time, like you have <laughs> this earth angel divine masculine that's coming towards you that just wants to make you happy. And these people are in the background just throwing up all this mess. Like, this is crazy. <laughs>
they're in the background like, no. At this point, I feel like this this karmic masculine, either their karmic wants you. It's like everybody wants Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, what did you do? <laughs> Divine Feminine went in and started healing, working on this passion and new beginning. It's something about your energy that has people gone crazy. Like, you're everybody's wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Everybody's like, I want to give to Divine Feminine. Let me let me have Divine Feminine. This literally, somebody is tearing up their home, their supposed, like, happy home, <laughs> trying to manifest you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> this person wants to come towards you with an offer, but they can't. <laughs> They're heartbroken trying to come to you with the Ace of Pentacles. Because you're the Queen of This person feels like you're their person. They're literally trying to destroy their life to come and be with you. Oh my goodness. This just really tickled me. This is so funny to me. Because the reason why I'm so tickled by this is because I just don't feel like God or your angels... Your past on loved ones that are standing so firmly and protect you. I don't like they're not gonna let this person come to you with these burdens. They're not. <laughs> this person is trying to confuse you though. They're really doing a lot. This is confusion magic. The magician is here with the seven of cups. They want you confused. And juggling. They want you to have anxiety. This person is watch some of you are online. This person is watching you. You may have even blocked this person. And they're like, <laughs> they want you to be sad, but actually, I feel like some of you're living a very private life. You're like enjoying your life. <laughs> this, person, this person is like, are you sad? Are you missing me? Like, are you going crazy like me? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that the divine feminine is too worried about this person, but they really want you to be pressed about them. Wow. Somebody just like, they really, they lost their, their chance to be with you. My goodness. I don't know. This, this really just tickled me because <laughs> you have literally two different masculines that are fighting for you in the spirit. And then there's a karmic feminine that's out here who is like trying to destroy you in the spirit because the masculines want you. <laughs> The karmic that I'm picking up on, this person is upset because someone from your past that's with them wants to be with you, but they're getting readings on you or looking into your energy. They see the new person coming into your life as well. And they're just like, they, somebody is like, you shouldn't have anybody. <laughs> Romance. Oh, this says your dating life is about to get exciting. Enjoy the company of your special someone or your potential partners. Mirrored souls. Yes, your other half is coming in or they're already here. Vacation and travel. Oh, my goodness. So, oh my goodness. Happily ever after, y'all. A piece of <laughs> I got to go. past life somebody <laughs> I feel like you guys have like this is like a karmic soulmate and for some of you an actual twin flame whatever label you want to give to these are two different people though from a past life and they are fighting over you I feel like some of you guys have like a third party situation that has carried over from a past life and it's two masculines. That it's like, I feel like every lifetime they're fighting over you. But the nice guy is going to finish last this time. But like, that's going to be your happily ever after. Look, I can't make it up. Past life very soon. Life partner. It says have faith. This card literally says trust and believe that love is here to stay this time around. Don't let fear or doubt interfere. Trust the divine. Y'all, I'm telling you, it's like a shape. One of these guys is like a, a shapeshifter. And they've been doing things to try to hinder you from manifesting this new love. This new love is coming because they're from a past life as well. And they already know that, like, you're their life partner. They're like, all you got to do is have faith. 
Cause they're coming into your life. Look, they're like, I'm coming into your life. Just be patient. Cause this divine union is happening. Now this story will be different for some. Some of you, you're reconnecting with somebody from your past. But for some of you, it just feels, I, I think I said that at the beginning of this reading. I said this energy feels very familiar. It's a past life energy. Some of you in this lifetime, you've crossed paths with two different soulmates from a past life. One you have to let go of and one you're destined to marry this lifetime. But they both want to marry you, but you have to choose. This this is like it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute because what the reason why I'm saying it's cute, I'm I'm really focusing on the beautiful connection that's coming in, and it's going to be a very beautiful connection. Okay, this person that's in the background doing this magic or whatever, it's not gonna work. Look, playfulness. This is how I feel right now. Very playful, very flirty. One of these masculines may really be like youthful. They may like having fun. They may be like the the type who likes to laugh and joke around and play. Yeah, and they're saying, yeah, release your ex. <laughs> release your ex because true love is here. Wow, true love, wedding, and honeymoon. Spirit said, just let go of your control issues. You have somebody coming into your life. You're going to have so much fun with this person. This person is going to spoil you. You're going to have fun. You're going to laugh, joke, play. They're going to be affectionate, like touchy-feely, forehead kisses. It's really going to be romantic. And this this is like your other half. They're going to balance your feminine and masculine energy. You and this person are going to be able to go on vacations and travel together. Like, you're each other's peace of mind. And it's really, like, a happily ever after story here. And whoever this other person is that's in your energy, they are pissed. Oh, my goodness. They're so mad. They're like, how did this happen? Because they're overdosing on your energy. You know what, too? I feel like this person that's lingering in your energy that's, like, watching you or spying on you. This person is trying to do love work or manifestation work on you now. They're trying to get as much of your energy as possible because they know that they're going to be like eclipsed out of your energy forever. This person knows that they cannot stop this new connection. That's the reason why they're going so hard right now to get your energy. It's almost like I know I can't have you, but I just need a little bit of your energy like they overdose in it. I feel like this person recently like tries to get a hit of your energy and it has them love sick. And when they sit back and they think like, wow, I won't be able to get this anymore. They are just sick. I'm telling you like <laughs> this person is like, what am I going to do? Like, do you mean I'm never going to be able to, for some of you, if you've been in contact with this person, like I said, if you block them or especially those of you, if you slept with this person, 